Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. This Friday, Foot Champions, trust me, it is going to be the hardest week in league until Ultimate Team of the Season. The Liga Un, Ben Yedda, Neymar, Mbappe. You know, just for those players alone, everyone is going to be sweating their butts off, right? So I'm wanting to put together a starting 11 that gives me the best possible chance to finish in Elite. I have to hit Elite 3 minimum. So I posted on Twitter, two players to vote for, Foot Birthday Mbappe to lead the line or Prime Eusebio. And after 6,000 votes, it was 50-50. So I took it upon myself to make the final decision and I've gone for the main man, Foot Birthday Mbappe. Now the reason why is because anyone that I've spoken to that have either used him or played against him, they say that he is one of the best strikers, if not the best striker to go for because of the price. Like no one has 10 million, 15 million for Prime Icon Moments R9. And then Team of the Year, Ronaldo's good and all, but he doesn't really have that five-star weak foot. So Mbappe with the five-star, five-star combo, outside of the foot, finesse shot, flair, everything that you would want from a striker, he has it on lock. So he's going to be played alongside Dybala after the foot champ rewards as long as we make enough coins. Now, ideally, I'd like to get him from the red pick and also Promes because those are the two main guys that I want in the Weekend League team. But the main man, I really want to be bringing in Dybala. Because then I can play him as a cam in a 4 2 3 one or really as a striker outside of the foot. He's got everything as well. I really believe that he's going to be very, very good on the game. But if you like the sound of that, please do drop a like. 2,500 would be amazing. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button to not miss any FIFA content. Hit the bell as well. Turn on notifications. And if you want game codes, G2A, link below and use that code Fuji. So one thing that I wanted to speak about to start off today's episode were the SBCs for FIFA 21. Now, I know that some of you are probably thinking that I was meaning to say FIFA 20. No, FIFA 21, because EA have been doing this in the past a little bit, dropping random untradeable SBCs when really they should have been given out tradable packs. Now, the new Clash of Titans advanced one has or three here that are untradeable and then completing the full set, you still get another untradeable pack. So the only one that isn't is the prime gold players. That to me is mad, and I feel like if we don't speak out for FIFA 21, you better get used to untradeable packs. Now, the trade-off, in my opinion, is if they do this and then drop Icon SBCs for FIFA 21, I will gladly accept untradeable uh, packs all over the place for marking mashups, individual ones, whatever. But if they don't bring out Icon SBCs, and this is what we've got to look forward to, that's kind of mad. Because imagine like they do that for league SBCs. So you can't just sit there and grind through it over and over again and make coins. Trust me, man. For FIFA 21, you wait. The player SBCs now or league SBCs, all of this stuff will be untradeable. So uh, it, it's, it's crazy. I don't really do that myself. I don't sit there and grind, uh, which I should. But those of you boys that maybe do and you farm that method... I feel sorry for you, right? So I think we've got to speak out and we've got to make sure that EA drop Icon SBCs on the game. You better do it. Do it now. Yo, we'd have some Icon SBCs. That'd be sick. But let me start off uh, with this little pack opening. I've just got four packs. Uh, two of them came from that advanced one that I did. Uh, if I remember rightly, I'll put it on your screen. But maybe first pack today, team of the season. It's not. It's okay. Um, I packed two yesterday. I, I want to sub on, oh, it was that right mid, the Italian right mid that we pulled uh, yesterday. But I would rather test out Nabry a little bit more, uh, see what he's saying. I've got Danny DaCosta back in the starting level with an anchor chem style. I'm having to make a couple of instant subs, right? I don't mind that so much. I was doing that last weekend with, well, Costa. Douglas Costa, him being brought on for Dembele as soon as the game starts. I don't mind. Damn, is that Lukaku? Yeah, he's come out as an SBC the other day. I still don't want him. But, hold on a minute. You know the guaranteed Syria SBC? It's not even in the source code. Excuse me? Are they going to be bringing that out or what? Surely. Or are we just going to get like the Edivisi and CSL one tonight? And then on Thursday, we're going to get the Syria. I don't know. I think they're trying to mess us up. What is that? Silver? Oh, no. It's one of those combi ball players. I was going to say. I thought that was some, like, guarantee. But we've got a 50k pack that was really cheap. Like, if you don't want to do the full set, I don't blame you because it is kind of expensive. And I wouldn't want to do it myself. Brilliant. 
Okay. Well, if I discard those, I can claim them back anyway, which is sweet. Oh, you know that Pianich that I pulled yesterday? I've also discarded him. So if I come around to doing like whatever SPC that requires high rated players, please remind me I discarded a Pianich. Okay, uh, 50k pack though, walk out. I really want Dybala so bad. Really, really want him. Now the good news, all right. Uh, the good news is that he's only like 750,000. Now I don't know if he's gonna be going up that much after the foot chat rewards. So do you think I'm gonna be making anywhere near that? Let's say, right, let's say I don't make enough. I will, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say this because then you guys will, have a go at me and keep going on about selling Rio Ferdinand. I don't want to get rid of Rio. That's the thing. Uh, but let's say I don't have enough to bring in Dybala. Maybe, maybe I will sell Rio and then I will find somebody else to use alongside Ramos in the defense. But Rio is that good. Like for, for this weekend, right? I want Rio, Kante and Mbappe. Those main guys, like, you know what we're going to be doing with um, Mane? He's probably going to be used as an impact sub or started as a right attacking mid because ideally, I said at the start of the video, I want Promes. I want Promes in that position. Then I want Dybala somehow in this team. Maybe Dybala is going to get subbed on straight away so I can have him as a cam, as a striker. Now, there might, might be another way for chemistry. I know that Corrado right back, but I don't think he's a very good right back, is he? But anyway, so I want to test out, obviously, the main man, which is Mbappe. 3.8 million. He used to be 3.6, but because of the hype and with him being so good on the game, that's what everybody says. The 5-star, five 5-star, five the outside of the foot. Oh, the stats are crazy. And I can do those, like, elasticos and, like, burst pass players. So we should be so much better on the counter attacks now which is going to be sweet uh so the instant sub we're going to be bringing on well i'll try out this man i'll try out this man I'll, I'll use him on the wing see what he's saying and then i'll put manny striker again like i did yesterday so let's give it a go and hopefully fingers crossed mbappe is worth the coins 3.8 million it's a lot but you better be worth it. It is a 451. Mm, don't believe you. 4231, the standards? I think so. Uh, he's also got Danny De Costa. Go on. Mbappe. Well, he's got 99 pace. So if he feels slow, <laughs> we've got we've got an issue, right? We, we like our pace too much. Mbappe's dribbling. He, he's got that footwork. He's got the footwork. He's got the positioning. Oh, do you know what I needed to do? The double tap there. Oh, my bad. I needed to do the double tap. Past couple of days, I've just really taken a breather from, from the game. From, like, foot champs. That goes in from that angle. Uh, but, yeah, I just want to grind tonight and get ready for the weekend league. But Dybala up top or Dybala middle cam, I think that's going to be really nice. Uh, I need to get that ball on the go. Keep giving him players to think about. I'm too slow with my attacks. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah, through your legs. Oh. Where's he gone? There he is. Okay, we haven't hit the target. Great. Uh, neither is he. Awesome game. <laughs> Let, let's try and do that, maybe. Win that Mbappe. Yes, dude, that's what I like, though. It, instead of like having Cruyff, though, leading the line, although I love him and all, but in that situation, Mbappe is winning that. And here we go. Mbappe outside the box. No. Win it. Win it. Win it again. Yes. He's put his body on the line. If we can actually create something from this, that would be amazing. I haven't. That's terrible. I haven't really been playing that well in the attack. And Mbappe. Oh, that turn was saucy. Mbappe. Mbappe. No, I can't get through. He's defending well. Full time. Uh, sorry I couldn't score any goals. It was just, it wasn't even me defending the whole game. I, I was really trying to play positive. I switched up to the 4-4-2 and I just couldn't find that play to break him down. I couldn't, not to create a, an actual opening. He was in his 4-2-3-1 and he didn't have any shots. Yeah, he was legitimately just defending or trying to hold possession in the midfield. So I'm happy with the way I played, just not good enough. Game two, and it's a weird squad. What's he doing here? He's playing Trent in the midfield, most likely. Good ball. Mbappe, Mbappe. Mm, uh, I should have taken a little bit more because then I could have caught him out. 
Ramos. Through ball. Costa. <laughs> this one to the wrong player. Mane. Oh, Nabry, yes. Well done. He's actually scored for me. That's a surprise, right? Because when I was using him before, I feel like with this card, he didn't really do enough. And Costa. He blocked me off, you little cheat. He blocked me off. I keep going. Nabry's making a run. I'm playing uh, Nabry actually as a left attack in mid. Like similar to that like Mane role. Hopefully uh, he prefers it. He's really tracking me there. But he's opened up the midfield. Mbappe. Mbappe through your legs. Near post. Oh. Alright, that's good. That is a... That's a clutch finish, right? Another game that we're involved in... And it appears that our opponents are having a hard time trying to get those shots out. Good. Go on. He's definitely got the speed, which is... Hey! He's literally pulled me back and the referee didn't give me anything. Mbappe. I'm waiting. Yeah, he's got that dribbling. Has he got the finesse shot? Mm. Uh, well, no. <laughs> No. My player switching all wrong again. No, he's got me. Good block. He's got me. He's got me. He's got me. Ah, oh, the rebound. I felt like I was defending okay in this game. Well done, Ramos. Good ball. That touch from Kante was really, really bad. Is, does he think I want to run? Oh, he's right in thinking that. I do. Mane. Mane. Oh, wow. That should have gone in. Hey, we got the W. Um, not convincing, though. Towards the end, I wasn't playing very well. Uh, but, hey, I uh, can say GG. Yeah, got the win. Try to try the 4-4-2 again out. Um, didn't really feel amazing. Third game, and it will be the last one. Bilbo Baggins. I recognize this man. I do. Good challenge. Oh, Kante is killing it right now. Turning up. Come on, we need a bit more support. That's the one. That's the one. Mbappe should be scoring that. No. Left foot, five star weak foot to the, to the near post. We've got some overlaps. We've got some runners. Through ball. Kante. I was going to do a drag back. The ball still hasn't gone out of play though. So... I've got Petit chilling as my right attack in mid. That's a goal. Muller. Muller's team is really good. Like, really, really good. I've come up against him a few times now, and he seems to score. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. These are the positions. Great pass. More like it. Much better. We've got to use the wings. We try and go down the middle a bit too much, and it's congested. We've got to just do that, boys. Does he want to play it on the edge? He wants to do something. And he's got another corner. Yeah, I thought he would whip it in. He's got bored of doing it short. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, no. But I have got down the line a few times against him. And again. Yes. Keep doing it, boys. Keep doing it. Good fake shot. Little back heel. Mbappe inside the box. He can't. If he misses that one. Oh, no. He's, he's making me worried a little bit. He's giving me anxiety. So I feel like he's going to miss. And he's 3.8 million. I don't think our opponent could be bothered to play. So he's left the game. But we got one goal with Mbappe. One goal with De Jong. And it was a decent reply. I swear we went a goal down in that game. Yeah, we did. So what I did with the custom tactics was to bring up the width by the one and also the offensive width by the one. So we're playing on seven and five and it just felt a little bit easier to get down the left and the right hand side using the RBY or R1 triangle, those power through balls. Because what I noticed myself doing a little bit too much is to try and like bypass the mid and also the central players. And then it's just congested. I lose the ball. It's not really good enough against the better players. So use the wings, get down the line, and just look for the cutbacks. It's the easier option. But Mbappe, that miss in the last game, wow. And I went on to concede. Don't you start doing that. But his all-round game, he feels sharp, energetic, pace, power. He really has got it all. So I'm happy with the purchase, but I want to see a bit more from him. 
and yeah, keep consistent. But thank you for watching. Leave a like. I will see you boys tomorrow with our big foot chat rewards. Hoping to make a lot of coins so we can fix uh, this team and it's ready for the weekend league. Thank you for watching. Team out. Peace.